Wasabi, you guys. Welcome to Integration B Training for Advanced. In this section, we'll be teach, we'll be learning about. Ooh. In this section, we will be learning about periodicity. Now, let me show you what this is about. So, in periodicity, we will do we will be dealing with integrals like from zero to two pi, sometimes pi. But most of the time, it would be 2 pi or even more. But pretty much, it's just in a form of... Let me actually change that to sine. So like sine ax times cosine bx. So usually, like, we would do trig identities to like solve this integral but however we know that instead of like trying to like actually form like the exact formation of of this trig identity we know that okay well this is a sine and cosine right this comes from the the sine law the sine addition law right it comes from this so we know that it's going to be some half of z of 2 pi, and we know it's going to be like some sign of whatever, or let me actually call this portion A, right? And then this portion B. So it's going to, it's going to look something like this, right? And then, of course, we know that, you know, this is going to be like 8x, bx, right? We, we don't know... Well, I mean, we again. I'm just saying, uh, just for like this is this is just for like the speedness, right? You know, this using trig identities, it's gonna be in this format, and then when you integrate it, it's gonna be like in terms of negative cosine minus cosine, whatever, a, b, whatever. Um, but the reason why I'm writing it like this, the reason why I'm being so lazy about these coefficients, you know, because we, we really don't have to. And the reason is because we have from 0 to 2 pi. Because of periodicity, understand that cosine of 0 is equal to cosine of 2 pi of times whatever integer you know okay they they both equal this is all going to equal to one and so because this and this is equal this bound plugging it in and then plugging this bound there it's going to equal it's 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 going to be like it's going to cancel each other out so therefore whatever this is a and b this is going to equal to zero because of periodicity okay and it's going to work the same exact way with like sine and sine and cosine and cosine, right? Here, like for example, right? Because so, like, let me do another example conceptually, right? Like, let's say instead of 2 pi, we have pi, right? But then we have something like sine of alpha x sine of beta x whatever whatever the coefficients are okay because it's zero to pi i don't really care because i know that this is going to be in a formation of what cosine plus or minus cos i don't care i whatever whatever this is a b whatever okay i i'm not gonna you know work my way to like oh i gotta find the coefficients i gotta find the coefficients whatever no i'm not gonna do that okay what i'm gonna do is again i'm my whole goal is just to immediately get to the answer and because we have zero to pi i know that my answer is going to be in the form of signs okay this is like a plus or minus whatever I don't care this can be some other number B uh, with you know whatever I don't care 
Okay, I know that when I plug in zero, it's going to equal to zero. When I plug in pi, it's going to equal to zero. Okay, and so because of that, this whole thing is going to equal to zero by periodicity. Okay, because the fact that sine of zero is equal to sine of pi to sine of two pi, whatever, because of this, it makes this whole integral equal to zero because of these these period these periodic bounds. So we're going to take advantage of periodicity, you know, just to speed our way to get to the answer, to answer it to zero. Okay, they're not, I mean, this is just a beginner concept. Sometimes in, in an actual integration B competition, uh, it won't be zero, right? But the terms will. And so this, this is just a conceptual uh, method I'm showing you. Uh, utilizing periodicity to, it's kind of like symmetry, pretty much, right? But it's, it's a very advanced way of seeing symmetry because these are periodic functions. So, how do we solve this fast, right? Again, I mean, you, you can do the trig identity thing. It's just going to, you, you just have to do it twice, right? Or we can go ahead and beat our opponent uh, by doing it, you know, solving this immediately, right? Okay, well, we have from 0 to 2 pi, right? I know this is, you know, sine of sine, that's going to be 0. And then sine and cosine, it's going to be sines. But then because of 0 to 2 pi, this is going to be 0. So this whole integral is going to be 0. Now, again, that was very a bit too fast for you. But that's why I threw that whole concept uh, part at the beginning so that I show you what's actually going on. And now that you, you know, now that I showed you, I wouldn't say it's a formula. I guess you can treat it like a formula. But I, you know, in the beginning, I showed you that this will always equal to zero, no matter what these uh, constants are, right? Um, well, actually, no, no, I'm sorry, I lied. Uh, a and B has to be different, and uh, I believe a, a and B has to be integers as well. A and B has to be, um, they have to be integers. I don't know about real numbers. Yeah, you can't use real real numbers. Uh, they must be integers. Okay. So, and then same thing for like from zero to pi for like sine times sine or co uh, cosine times cosine. Same thing here. They they're all going to equal to zero. Okay. Some of you might be comfortable using Fourier series. You can do that, but I know nothing about Fourier series. But um, I'm just, you know, if you don't know about Fourier series, that's okay. You know, this is just an easier way to see it. Okay. Again, right, we have sine times sine 3x. That's going to be, you know, cosine plus cosine. And then that's going to, when we integrate it, that's going to become sine plus sine of something, right? Again, you know, I don't care about what the coefficients are because we're plugging in 0 to 2 pi. So it's going to, you know, they're going to cancel each other out. It's going to equal to 0. Okay. This term is going to equal to 0. Sine times cosine 3x. Sine x times cosine 3x. That's a, what? That's a sine plus sine identity. And when we integrate it, that's going to be a cosine plus cosine. When we plug in 0 to 2 pi, they're going to cancel each other out by periodicity. You know, this whole integral. It's just going to equal to zero. Okay. All right, let's do this one. Okay, so this is a cosine cosine. I know that cosine cosine is going to be, let's see, this is a cosine plus cosine identity, right? I don't know why I really like that. You could just abbreviate it, right? We know this is a cosine cosine identity over two, whatever. And then when you integrate it, it's going to become like sine plus sine with whatever coefficients you have. I don't care because when I plug in zero and pi, they're just gonna cancel each other out and it's gonna equal to zero. Okay, so now we're gonna get into some real, some uh, legit uh, integration view problem, right? 
you're probably thinking, you know, silver, these past integrals, it's been kind of, what, intermediate or too easy for you? Well, the reason why I put it in advance is because, again, this is more of a speed method. And uh, I don't, I only teach this for advanced people because it's, I mean, it's, it's more of a mental it's it's a it's just it's mentally challenging i think i would say because if you screw up sometimes you know if you just guess zero then you, you you could be wrong and you can get eliminated so you just have to be very careful it's again it's like symmetry but uh, there are some manipulations that isn't so easy in periodicity but for now i'm just showing you like the beginner stuff so I know this is going to be like this sine sine here is going to be like what cosine plus cosine and now you're probably thinking okay I'm just gonna abbreviate it right but be careful be careful now be very careful now now we can't be uh, too neglectable we we have to be careful make sure that we don't have squares right if this was like let's say like if this was like 4x right let me just let me just put this in red. If this was 4x, right, and we have something like, okay, this is a cosine, you know, um, like what? Cosine 4x plus cosine 6x or something like that, whatever. It's probably not like this, but um, you just, you might have to be careful. Or, or maybe when you're dealing with something like this and you got like, oh, I got 4x here plus sine of whatever 3x here but now you have a square this is a square now you have sine square 4x and then you know this this is not zero you have to be very careful now now you have uh, a constant 1 plus I'm sorry 1 minus you know cosine 8x now now you have a constant so you have to be very careful make sure that we don't get squares okay but it looks like in this case um, we might not have that, but we gotta check. And so the way I abbreviate this, the way I abbreviate this, is for now we have this, right? Here, we're gonna we're gonna have to do the trig identity. Okay, so sine sine this comes from this 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 identity, right? Okay. So let's see, this portion, because this is a sine sine, I need this to be negative. Okay, so over here, cosine of this, this is going to be cosine of 4x. And so what I do is I use square brackets, and then this is minus the cosine of, let's see, this is, this would be plus, right? Because remember that cosine of a plus b is equal to this, okay? Remember that the signs are opposite, okay? So in this case, we would have cosine of 4x minus cosine of 6x times sine of 7x. Do they have the same coefficient? No, they do not. So we know immediately just by distributing them, this whole integral is going to equal to 0. Okay? So this is, this is a short way of writing it. Okay? You just use square brackets and then... Um, determine from there make sure that we don't get squares okay all right this is this is pretty much just an introduction to periodicity so you know in this section we're, we're pretty much done <laughs> okay so again practice that practice you know solving these beginner level periodicity integrals uh, especially doing it mentally and then uh, you you should be more comfortable Okay. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this is helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next section. See ya.